Hola. Hola, people. ¿Cómo están? How are you? Look what we have in here. Mango. This is not just mango. These are the best mangoes in the world. Yeah. Sorry, Mexico. Sorry, Mexico. I thought they were in Dominican Republic. I thought they were the best ones. But I think I came... We came to Thailand. Oh my god, they're so good. They're like so good. I don't know what is it. It's just like extra sweet. Yeah, and they're like water-based. It's not so thick like Mexico. Totally. So we're gonna eat some mangoes. I gotta have to do the big one. Mm. I love to eat this way. This is like our favorite place. Like, yeah, way like to raw, eat. like a jungle it's girl. Like it's the best, like a banana. Jungle. We are always barefoot. Oh, and we go to the beach and sometimes it's curl and we hurt ourselves. And yeah, you start to get like this thick of your food that nothing hurts anymore. Yeah. Mm. But we all, we like to live jungly style. We like to be like always with little clothes and barefoot. Yeah. I feel like barefoot tooth connects you more with earth and you feel like more grounded and more connected. And I hate shoes too. Mm? Oh, I hate shoes. shoes. Socks. I don't, especially high heels. I don't know how girls can still use in that shit. It's oh my horrible. god, no. I'll never <laughs> use it. It's like I fall right away. Anyway, no, it's horrible. I know. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. <sighs> So mm. Guys, I feel like you. I wish you guys can taste this. Look at this. It's so good. Mine is a little bit up, but it's so good. Oh. Mm. How many mm. mangoes mm. we eat a day? Mm. You said. Mm. How many uh, mangoes you eat a day? Maybe ten. Yeah. Yeah. She eats when I'll, like that's all you you eat pretty much. Uh huh. And papaya salad. It's like the papaya best papaya salad, salad, salad here. When you hear papaya salad, it's not papaya. In Thailand, it's, it's, it's like the most famous plate, no? Mm. Yeah, but it, it doesn't even have papaya. No, it's a it's, um, combination of vegetables, but they have peanuts, and it's spicy and sweet. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, uh, mm. so today we're going to talk about our mission. Um, what's your mission? What's our mission? What is, what is this thing that you do that you just forget time, your body and all of it? Like, I feel like we all have different missions and there's like this thing that just you love to do and you know that you are here to do that in this um, physical life. So, um, obviously, what do you, th what, my sister is a painter, I mean, that's for sure her mission. Lisa, what do you think? What's your mission? Oh my god. I think before I painted, I was miserable. And after I painted, but I got in a very bad depression when I was like maybe 18. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to die. I couldn't bear the life. So I started painting. I was like, oh my god, this is, this is my, my drug. So I just knew that I have to do that the whole my life mm -hmm. and then this is what you need to do yeah that's there's I feel like some for some people it's hard to find your mission um for some people it just takes time sometimes if, yeah it just takes sometimes time I feel like sometimes you need to like go deep into this like hole like go down and then you can find yourself are we recording find who you are yeah we are it's worth four minutes yeah it is oh yeah for 14 Anyway, I feel like my mission, mm. I, it's, it's not like I'm like my sister that she just has, she's a painter and that's it. I feel like my mission is changing all the time. But you are, yeah. Like back before, I was used to like sew and make clothes and just design and stuff. And oh my God, I was like, I, I can be sewing for hours and forget about food like oh fuck yeah I need to eat I forgot like forget about everything I will just sew and sew and create and create and now in this moment I'm um, teaching yoga I think it's like one of my missions in this moment just teaching yoga I don't 
even feel like I become the teacher. I feel like we all create this bubble of like we're all teaching each other and I heal through other people and I don't even feel like I'm teaching it. I feel like I become this empty space that I just channel energy and it's like we all connect. And I mean breath work, yeah. For me breathing is like pranayamas. Pranayamas, I mean it's yeah amazing. Actually in like 20, 10 minutes people is coming and I'm gonna do a workshop. Um, that's it. Oh, you just ate it? I'm gonna eat another one. <laughs> Remember, she eats like 10. This is like her first one. You see that's, her first one? Look at this big. Look! Mm. Mm. But I wish I wish I can, you guys can try this. And then durian. We should do like a video of durian. Yeah. Durian is another weird fruit that it has because spike mm. sorry if we we speak english sometimes because we're from mexico and people from like latin people they they're being like writing me messages why do you speak in english what the fuck you forgot your language it's just like i think when you speak english more people we can reach more people but look at that <sighs> it's a little bit up too mm. the best are th the ones are bit up Mmm, mmm, mmm. The curry soups. Oh, my God! No, yeah, the best. We're going. We're gonna stay here for like maybe three weeks more, and then we're gonna go to India. Follow us, and then we'll, we'll record in India. And um, Thailand food is is always sweet. That's why I love it because everything is sweet. It's better than Mexican. I mean, it's different. No, Mexican food is almost awesome. My God, cilantro, but. Salsa. Yeah, everything is sweet, and I love sweet. I can eat sweet all day. They put sugar. They put sugar. They put too. sugar in everything. I don't yeah. care. It's fucking amazing. And they put sugar like in the food, but it then creates this like sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And sweet and spicy. Yeah. So, oh yeah, it's super salty, spicy. sweet, spicy. Mm -hmm. So what else do you think is your mission? Oh my God, paint. If I can live my life the whole time painting, you know, I like to do business, but in mail. <laughs> oh, her I, manager. Yeah. So, hey, if you want a painting, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> she hates, like, managing, like, um, money. I'm the one. I love it. I love to sell. Right now, I'm selling jewelry. I make jewelry myself. I love to make it, but I love to sell it. I'm good. And we used to tell them about, we used to like sell, put our stuff in New York and just sell it. Oh. We used to live in New York, I lived seven years. We used to hustle in the street in Soho. Mm -hmm. We used to, we have this storage, you remember this storage? <laughs> like we had this storage and we'll go like really early and then just grab all his, her paintings and, her, and my accessories. Like her, big paintings. Her paintings were huge, so we're like bringing like all pretty with big with dresses and like all makeup just like carrying all these paintings and then and then like fighting with the people that it's yeah people, selling there is, people are grump. like gr like grumpy i mean they're, they're you haters. go there and then you want to sell stuff in their block and they been there for years and then you're like this girl come here and want to sell and they just like no this is my space and you're like no and then you gotta fight with them and if you don't want you can't sell yeah I mean, the police is okay. The guys that they're selling are the assholes. Mm -hmm. And it should be different because we're all like, we're creating, we're all creators. We should help each other. But yeah, so that was a little bit weird. Uh, it was fun. It was so fun. At the end, we we're like, set up all her paintings and then just made, the little, made a little table with like my art that I used to make and then just talk to. All these crazy people will come to us, like from all over the world. Yeah. And I mean, in Soho, like that's a 
amazing place in New York. And it's weird because I used to sell, but and my prices were very cheap. Mm. Mm -hmm. I used to sell a painting 500 bucks and then uh, I, I, I went out of the street and then my website and I sell it like more because I'm not in the street. You put the prices up and then people buy more. Yeah, people, I guess they don't just value it as much when you're in the streets. Mm -hmm. Another mango! I don't need that 10 mangoes like my sister, I, it's maybe two a day. <laughs> because I eat different stuff, she just eats this. Mm. Mm. So it's okay if you don't you don't know what's your mission. You gotta open it in the camera. Get closer. Get closer. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I love this. I treat everything in the camera. Mm. You guys want to see the new tattoo that I just got in Bali? I went to Bali Spirit Festival, to this festival. And mm. this is my experience right here. Mm. You gotta eat the thing that is left. <laughs> Mm. So tell us a joke, Christina. Mm. Mm. A little story. Um, give me a bite. Eat it. Um, tell me a joke. This is better. You see? Mm. Um. Oh, I don't know. I'm ex I'm kind of I get a little bit nervous because people is gonna come like in ten minutes too. You are right. Yeah. Mm. But it's nice. It's a good nervous. It's like it gets like butterfly in your belly. Mmm. It's nice because every time it's so different. It depends on the people that have comes and like all of it. You are painting today, no? Yeah, I'm doing a mural in the pyramids mm -hmm. in Thailand, Koh Phangan. Pyramid Yoga Center. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll like make a, a video there too. She painting. It's amazing. It's so cool. You guys love it. She's doing mural. A mural. Or Follow me on my Instagram that you can see my stories there. Where's your Instagram? Lisette Alcalde. My name. That's it. Mm. Okay. Mm. 13 minutes. Enough. <laughs> No, let's finish the mango. Okay. Uh, uh. We're gonna do a video next. It's mm. like durian, it's like peanut butter. Bueno, vamos a hablar un poquito en español, ¿no? Es como peanut butter. I never taste durian. No? Mm -mm. Just a little bit. I couldn't taste it. Do, do, she got She's like an addicted person. So if she had something, she's gonna get addicted. Now she's addicted to mango. I'm addicted to mango. She's like has an addictive personality. That's how she works. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. I, I feel if she eats durian. Oh my god! Tell them the story about your tooth. Mm -hmm. I broke my tooth. That one. Actually, it's a little. It's a little black. But tell them how. <laughs> I was eating um, banana. I was eating banana chips, and then all of a sudden I was like, and then cracked the half. Which is which, but it's, there's a story oh, behind so too. Bad. We're gonna do another video of that too. Your tooth broken. <laughs> it's the worst thing. And then you're in a foreign country, and then you don't know if there are dentists around. And then she just got here. So it was like her first, second day that she just got here. And then I introduced her to all my friends, and she was like... And I'm like, mm. well, hi. And then go. And then just like turn, and people was like, hey, like, why is this still like that? And she's like, she was just turning around. And then she got a fix, and she's like, hey, hey what's up? Let's ooh, talk. Ooh, mm. I was like, ooh, she's hotty. Of course, she's my sister. You finished it? Yeah. 
I'm done. No, I'm not. You oh. gotta eat the whole thing. <laughs> okay, guys. Love you forever. That's it. Peace and love. Subscribe yourself. Thank you. Mwah. Adios. Eat mango. Ooh.